Good afternoon everybody, this is Nel Tarroco again. Happy New Year to all of you. I received an inquiry from a friend. Again, I think this is one from our subscriber in YouTube. And he asked me about how to do a road lighting for a curved road. Actually, I created already one video about how to do it. But the title of the video is about lighting design for one kilometer road. I also mentioned about how to do that in the curved roads. But I will do it again just to make sure that my the, uh, new video is about the curved road. Okay, so if you want to learn more about this one, go and please don't forget to subscribe in this uh, YouTube channel. And also I will upload um, road lighting design course in my Udemy. So this is the setup. It's already done actually and I'm waiting for the uh, Udemy to publish it. And uh, I also have my courses in my website. So go and check my uh, website www.enrocolightingdesign.com and then all my courses from Udemy are already here. And if you subscribe for a monthly subscription, you will access all these courses and also my ebooks for for free. Okay, so whatever you see in this uh, online courses are also available in udemy.com. Okay, so let's go now and do it. Say for example, this is your curved road and how are you going to do the lighting design for this one? So because Dialux and Dialux Evo is only for straight road lighting design calculation. So how are we going to do that? Well, of course, you will run a calculation for a straight line first, like this one. Say for example, my road is already ready and I will say this one is 8 meters to lane. Okay, I will just use the M4 um, standard requirements, the defaults and everything. And then I will put my luminaire, just drag and drop. And then I will just optimize it. So let's just use this one. So for example, I use a 30 meter pole spacing and the height of my pole is 10 meters. And if you can see here in my lighting calculation report, it says all check. So I'm good to go. So let's say this is now my design and it achieved everything. So you can see all is checked using the M4 road lighting standard. So what I'm going to do, do I have a tilting and how, how far it is offsetted from the road? So if you can see the offset is 0.5. So I offsetted my luminaire 0.5 from the road. Okay, so what we're going to do, we will put this um, layout into the AutoCAD based on your curve layout. All right. So you just remember you have your fitting, all achieved, calculation, blah, 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 everything's okay. So to do the curve layout, actually you cannot run it in uh, lighting this, uh, you cannot run it in Dialux Evo, the curve one, but you can run the straight and then you lay out it in AutoCAD in the curve layout. Okay. <laughs> all right. For you to understand that, let's just remember it's 30 meter spacing with 10 meters high pole and the offset from the road of that pole is 0.5 or half a meter. So I open now my uh, AutoCAD file. So let's imagine this is your road, a very curvy road like this one. Okay, so this is the curved road. And if you click on the line, it says it's 826 meters long. So if you don't have the continuous line, you because sometimes the civil engineer will have a, a chopped line or it's not a continuous line. So all you need to do is just press SPL or spline like this and then click on the road one by one. If you have the layout of the road, for example. Okay, and then right click and then enter. So that it will be your one line road. And then if it is like, for example, this one is say dimension di. So it's meter, eight meters. You can offset that one as four meters on both sides. Command offset and then type four and then offset here and then offset there. So it will be your center line. And then th this is the edge of your 
road okay you can do this one if the CAD drawing from your civil engineer is not in a continuous line okay don't forget SPL command SPR all is blind all right so now I prepare this one so let's just imagine this is the edge of the road and in the middle line the hidden line is the middle line of the road so we're going to lay out now what we just created in Dialux Evo, the road lighting design. So what you're going to do is you will submit this to your client, this lighting calculation, plus the layout. So they will understand how many fittings are there in that total length of road, how many fittings and how many poles they are planning, uh, they are going to install. Okay, so just create a rectangle, command rec or rectangle, or actually you can export those CAD file, but let's just make this one as a rectangle. And then this is, go this is going to be your luminaire. You can add uh, a pole here, let's say command C or circle. Okay, so this will be the base of your, oh, that's too small. The base of your pole because we need to make sure that it's properly offset from the road okay so let's make it as your pole and then you can add a bracket if you like but i did not add any brackets so i'll just imagine this is a post stamp post uh, top lamp uh, road light fitting so i'm going to move it now here and then I will make sure that the layout is offsetted 0.5 from the edge of the road. Because what I did, I designed it like it's only one side of the road. So it should be also one side when you lay out in your AutoCAD file. Alright, so I'll offset this, this line now. Command offset or O. Enter and then type 0.5. And then click on the line and then offset here on the side. So this is now your guide for your um, road lighting layout. Now this is your guide. You need to orient now your luminaire. So this just imagine this is the edge, the end of the road. So let's just put it and on the end, end first, and then we will adjust later. Command R O or rotate. Actually, command M first for move. Place it here. And then RO for rotate, click on the center and then orient it like that or you can align it to make it precise. So let's just use this one for now. And then go and uh, before we, are, uh, we, we array it, we will need to uh, change the color of the fitting so it will be distinguishable later on. Okay, click on this uh, rectangle or luminaire and then change the color in the layer. Make it red if you like or yellow if you like you can also add hatch if you like but for now let's just uh, make it like that or yes let's just add hatch now command h or hatch and then right click and then enter you don't need to do this one i'm just adding it just for the sake of you can still distinguish it later on and then i will color the hatch into something like also red Okay, so this is now my luminaire. And then I'm going to array it now. So command AR or array. And then click on the luminaire. Right click and select the path or PA. And then click on the path. And then exit or just press enter. And you see the spacing of the luminaires are very stiff. It's very close to each other. So just go and right click and go to the properties. And then here you can see it's 2.6. You need to change this item spacing into, say, 30 meters as per our design. And there you go. Now your uh, street light is now ready to see and properly lay out according to the curve line. Okay, so that's how easy it is. So you don't need to be worried about how to do it in Dialux Evo. Run first in the straight line like this, find out the spacing and the mounting height. And if you have tilting and bracket, you can add it also in, on, in the AutoCAD. And then from here, you can now easily lay, it, lay out those luminaire based on your lighting calculation, based on Dialux design. And then from here, you can now count how many fittings are there in this eight meters long curved road. Okay, so that's how easy 
it is and you can find it here in this items it says it has 28 items to fill up this 800 meters curve road see here items 28 meters all right so that's how easy it is okay so if you have any more questions just let me know and don't forget to subscribe in my youtube channel and then go and check in my udemy course about this uh, road lighting design using Dialax Evo. I will teach you all the, the, the theory, the standards, and the basics of uh, how to do the road lighting calculations and other things about uh, road lighting. Okay, and you can also uh, enroll it in my website if you like it in my website. Right, so yes, that's it for now, and see you again on the next video. Bye.